Land Rover really is one of the business success stories in the UK at the moment. We've just come on the back of two record years in 2005 and 2006, and we're on course for another record in terms of volume in 2007. Around about 78% of our production will actually be exported this year, so we're making a major contribution to UK PLC. Something like £5 billion of revenue will come back into the UK from our exports this year. Land Rover came into being uh, in 1948, really as a division of the Rover Car Company. Uh, at the time, the Rover Car Company needed, um, needed to get raw materials in the post-war period, and one idea they thought of was to use aluminium, which was in, uh, in, in greater supply, and to build a utility vehicle that um, could uh, perhaps build a marketplace for its own and support the car company. I think it's quite interesting when you look back into Land Rover's history as to how responsible we've been for the environment. We've been in existence for 60 years and our vehicles were essentially uh, invented to assist in the working of the land. The, the pure genius of what Land Rover was originally all about was that we had a piece of agricultural equipment which could also be driven on the road and that's the very essence of what Land Rover was in the in, in, in its first instance and it is actually what is the very essence of what Land Rover is all about now. If any business doesn't react to the challenges of, uh, of, uh, of a world which is becoming more concerned about the environment it's not going to stay in business and it is as simple and as important as that. Everyone is aware of global warming uh, everyone has become more aware of the contributing factors to, to global warming the motor industry worldwide, but especially in Europe, has had a real focus on that. And the 4x4 segment within the motor industry is getting an abnormal amount of focus. And Land Rover is reacting to that. It has to react to that. Sustainability is probably, probably the biggest challenge that Land Rover faces as a brand uh, around the world. Um, it's getting a huge amount of tension in, in UK and Europe. We are facing, that, facing up to that challenge in, in, in a variety of, of manners. Uh, we're looking to see how we can build more efficient products. We're looking to see how we can present ourselves, uh, present the, the facts about our business in terms of, uh, of our sustainable approaches to consumers so that they, they're informed and, and they have a, a satisfactory explanation as to what we're doing. Over the last 10 years, our factory at Solihull, which is a major manufacturing plant within the UK, has reduced carbon dioxide emissions by, uh, by 30%. And we have programmes which have been ongoing throughout that time and which we'll continue to do to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, to reduce waste and to reduce water consumption. Um, and that's something, as I say, which has been core to the, uh, to, to the operation of the business. We pay into a fund operated by Climate Care, a unique fund for Land Rover that invests in projects around the world, uh, that invest in sustainable um, technology. Uh, and we also work with our consumers to offset the first 45,000 miles of, of, of each product, product's use in the, in the UK. That's a unique program. We think it's the largest consumer-facing uh, program of its kind anywhere in the world. And that's only part of our commitment to, to reducing our overall carbon footprint. We have to position ourselves as a responsible organisation. We are doing a lot in terms of investment. Together with Jaguar, over the next five years, we're investing £700 million on environmental technology, some of which we showcased uh, in Geneva on our Landy environmental concept uh, back in 2006. And we're slowly but surely introducing that uh, technology on, on all of our vehicles.